Hi, I'm Pastor Anthony. Here at Grinnell Friends Church, we like to think of ourselves as a friendly church, but that's not actually why we're called friends. Let's talk about that. Welcome back to session number two of our series titled, What Does It Mean to Be a Friend? I'm here on site at Camp Quaker Heights in Eldora, Iowa, where the churches in Iowa Yearly Meeting have collectively been doing camping, uh, Christian camping since 1948. So for over 70 years, our camp has been a place to step out of the daily grind, to leave behind distraction, and to seek God. I'm currently sitting in a space we call Vespers, and you might describe it as an outdoor chapel or an amphitheater, um, but it's a space on our campground that we frequently use to slow down and to listen. If you were to attend a friend's church today, uh, most of them would have something in the service that we refer to as open worship. Uh, that that uh, time might happen as a time of preparation before the message. It might happen as a time of reflection after the message. Or in some cases, that will take up the entirety of what would normally be reserved for a pastor to speak. And what is happening there is something that you might describe as quiet, but might better be described as waiting. And while quiet is certainly a part of what is happening there, um, it might be better equated to seeking the will of God and listening for his voice. And this is for each believer. Just like Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, to be known and fully known by God, or as God says to Jeremiah in chapter 29 of his book, seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all of your heart. God wants us to seek him and we have a place in our service that's dedicated and set aside for doing that. So if waiting, if quiet is the first part of open worship, the second part is this, and just to ask this simple question, is this message just for me or is it for the entire body? You see, at times in our lives, God speaks directly to our hearts and they are messages that are very specific just for you or just for me. It might be something like maybe God wants me to exercise more and watch TV less. Uh, maybe God's asking me to take more time to share hope with a neighbor. These leadings are specific to me um, and for me to hear and to follow. But there are other times in our life where God is leading us into something and, and we're not equipped to do it. We're not prepared to be able to do that on our own. Or maybe God is laying the exact same thing on someone else's heart. And in that time of open worship, that is that space where we might stand and speak and share together with other people in the body. And through that, God confirms the same thing through multiple people and it's a direction that God's saying, this is the way that I want you to go as a church now. These are the times where we say, yes, this isn't just for me. This is for everyone. God can speak in so many ways in a church service. Um, he can stir the heart through a powerful message. Um, he can cast off despair through the words of a beautiful song. Uh, he can encourage and bring comfort through the hug of a companion. God can encourage the body through other people. God can speak through other people, but God wants to speak directly to you and directly to me today as well. If only we would take time to slow down and to listen. If you've never experienced the joy of being a part of something that has eternal significance, we invite you to come and to listen with us today.